YouTube, it's Mary here with this week's video. In this week's video, I'm gonna bring you a haul because I went, I did some shopping last night and I did some shopping today. So I'm gonna show you what I got. And sorry if I look like a mess, I'm getting over being sick. And so yeah, I'm, I'm pale, I'm stuffy, and my hair is a dysfunctional mess. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I got last night was Burt's Bees natural lip shine and I like to use Burt's Bees for my lips sometimes because it's all natural it uses natural ingredients and it's good for your lips whereas some lipsticks like can um they also sorry about that some lipsticks like they get crusty is what I call it and like it it bunches up into little balls on your lips and it just looks bad but with Burt's Bees it's nice and smooth so yeah, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you what color it is. This is what it looks like. Yeah, and, yeah, I like Bird's Bees because again, it uses all natural ingredients and it does not have the lipstick crusties that some brands do. And then, God, there we go. The um, thing that I'm most excited about getting last night was the new Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I got it for my Xbox One, so hopefully for future videos I will be doing Infinite Warfare gameplay. And I'm gonna try to not suck at this game. I, I, I can't be promising anything because I've gotten pretty good at sucking at video games. But I still play them because they're a lot of fun and yeah. So I'm excited about getting this. This came out last night, by the way, if you're wondering. And GameStop has it now. So yeah, I pre-ordered mine. So yeah, that's how I got it. So, well, not really early, but I was guaranteed a game where some people that might have gone in there last night couldn't get a game because they ran out. Because, I mean, Call of Duty is pretty popular. So yeah, um, there we go. There we go. I don't know what just happened. My mind went somewhere. And then what I got today is I got LA Colored Nail Polish. If you did not know, I love to paint my nails. Like, I paint my nails a lot. And so now I got this. And I mainly got this because of the white. Because I really need more white. And I really like this. And I, and I kind of like this color scheme together. Like, this looks good together. And then also, what I like is there's like little sticker things I can put on my nails. I'm not sure how I can put those on. If you know how to put these little sticker thingies on your nails, drop a comment and let me know. Because I do not know. And then what I got today, I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but I play the violin and I played the violin since fourth grade. Fourth grade. So, yeah. Sorry if I'm talking really fast. It's Halloween and I love candy and I just like had a bunch of candy, and so I'm like, Ooh. I'm bouncing off the walls. Mm -hmm. And my um, thing is from Kun, and I got it at Quinlan and Fabish for their string fest things. And I have a full size violin, so this is for full size violin. And if you're wondering what a shoulder rest is, it's a thing that goes on your shoulder and it helps you have like better ham frame, and it also forces you to have correct posture. And yeah, it just makes playing the violin a lot more comfortable. So I'll show you what it is. And I don't have my violin with me, so I can't show you how to put it on. So what you do is you take these things off, and this is what it looks like. It says cotton, and here it is. And so what you do is you tighten this one. This one usually tightens. This one can also loosen, but you really don't want to loosen this one. And so you can tighten this one once you put it on to make it, e like, to even it out. And so you clip it on your violin, and then you hang out here, and you play, you go, here, I'll do a ham frame for a song. Wait. What? Oopsies. F G A A E F G G F G F G A A E F G G E F E E F E. But no, I would not have my hands like this. I would normally have them like this and so this also helps with my 
Boeing hen. So yeah, this is to help me out because my other shoulder breast, my shoulder breast, my shoulder rest, duh, sorry about that, shoulder rest broke. So yeah, um, if you are looking to get a shoulder rest, if you also play the violin, I um, recommend Kun. It's pretty good, but it is on the expensive side. I paid thirty dollars for this, and it's kind of expensive for a shoulder rest. They usually run like fifteen to five dollars. They're not that expensive at all, and they really do help you have better sound. Cause like with the sponge. You can like make it to where you're comfortable and your hand frames won't be as accurate as it is with this one. With a shoulder rest, you're kind of forcing yourself to be uncomfortable at first. Like it's a lot to get used to at first when you switch from a sponge to a shoulder rest. But after a while, you actually break in the shoulder rest and it feels nice and comfortable and you still got the perfect hand frames. So yeah, uh, that is all for this video because that is all I have. I'm sorry it's such a short video. And yeah, maybe in the future I will uh, do a bigger haul. Like maybe I'll do what I got for Christmas when Christmas comes around. So yeah, um, I hope you guys all had a great Halloween. I know I sure did. And I'll see you next week.